So we came up with a name. It's like a lot of rappers go like skirt in their videos, and so we thought um, that was a good name. Um, great. So uh, we have we're tying this in a 14 and a 16. Uh, the 14 size uses a 764 orange fire bead, and the number 16 size uses a 332nd fluorescent orange fire bead. So um, if you get Nick, please don't mess that up. I don't want uh, the wrong beads on the hooks. We can't pay on that. So um, also we have a glass bead on the front. So this is kind of Austin's crazy little creation that we've modified a little bit. But we're gonna start by doing this. You know, just tying it to the back with orange. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. This is orange Vivas 10 knot thread. Um, so the first thing we do is simple. We take rainbow scud dub, the light version color. We are going to dub it um, just sort of sporadically. Um, I haven't tied on these for a little bit. I was really good at them for like three days. Rusty. Yeah. Um, so we just create dubbing thingy. And uh, it's about as far as you want to go is right there because you kind of want this orange bead to be not quite in the center, but um, you want it to be far enough so you have a gap here. Um, we're just going to whip finish this off right here uh, with a four turn whip finish. It's going to be sitting underneath the beads, but the four turn whip finish is really protected. So one really good one. If you feel like you got a sloppy one, to do another one. Um, then you're just going to kind of push that back onto that um, rainbow scud dub material. We're going to start a new thread base behind the glass bead now. Again, guys, this is super fast, easy flies. Um, should be able to, once you get going on them fast and you lay your materials out, you're going to be able to tie a lot of these really fast. Um, we use a done uh, hen hackle. Um, Got to size it to the hook. Before I, what I do is I just pluck a whole bunch um, out that are the same size um, for the 14s and then for the 16s. Um, so all you're going to do is, and this is like, you know, two times, two and a half times gap length for this, this hen hackle, just so you guys have a reference and this is on a 14. Um, so you're just going to make like two and a half turns like that. And usually you can get like, you can get two flies out of one hackle or maybe, maybe even, yeah, probably just two. Um, so you just tie that off. You're going to pull all the hackle feathers back. Like that. And don't worry about this looking like super good at this point because you are going to put um, rainbow scud dub in front of this and then it'll lay the rest of those hackles back even more. So then we're gonna do rainbow scud dub again. It's okay if it starts getting loose and you have to like just wrap over the dubbing a couple times, that actually wraps more of the dubbing in. Um, and at this point, the fly will look a little sloppy, but that's okay because we're just going to brush it out. Um, and then just do a whip finish behind the glass bead. Like that. And then we will cut it off. Um, so that is the skirt. Um, all you have to do. Um, to just make it look much scurpier is to brush every, all the dubbing back. Um, and then what I like to do is just, if I have any super crazy hairs like that just look totally unnatural, um, just give it like one nice neat chop um, and uh, you'll be good. And that's the, the skirt. Skirt, skirt.